chapter, Darkest Before the Dawn. All right, Ibisu Pond and Ancient Show. Let's talk, sir. Hello, oh, is this a bad time? I'm from Yagami Detective Agency, Takayuki Yagami. I'd like to ask you a few questions. If you don't mind. Oh. oh, a detective. I'm his assistant, Kyoko Amasawa. Okay, this is cute. You're his assistant? A high schooler? Don't mind it. She's actually pretty smart. Is there a problem? Damn! No, not particularly. Uh, what is it you want to ask? We're looking into this lucky cat statue for Mikio Shimada or something. He uh, well, he says he knows you. I thought you said you knew him. Then, you know. This is for Shimada-san, okay. Do you mind if I ask, how did you come to acquire this statue? This pawnbroker friend of mine closed up his shop, so I bought his remaining inventory. He wouldn't vouch for the statue's authenticity, though. Well, you know it's the real thing now. But maybe we ought to fill him in on that. Might make a mess of things. You don't happen to know who sold the cat to your friend originally, do you? Nah, sorry. He told me it had been passed around a month before it ended up in his shop, but he didn't know any specifics. Probably why he couldn't authenticate authenticate the thing. Authenticate, yeah. I see, anyways. One last question. This might sound odd, but when you still had the statue in the shop, did anything strange happen here? Eh? Strange? Ha! Huh, you mean the curse? Nah. I don't buy into that stuff. Nothing ever happened here to make me change my mind either. Interesting. Nothing at all, you sure? Nope. The guy got the statue from never mention any of the sort, although I suppose he might have just not wanted to sound crazy. I see. Yagami-san. Yagami -san. Does this mean that the so-called curse didn't begin until Shimada-kun's father acquired the statue? This might be an unfortunate string of, you know, unfortunate. Because uh. it sounds like it happened because, you know, they happened to get the statue then. But how much sense of that does it make? What? Got me, son! It's on fire! What's on fire? What? What's on fire? The fuck? Get the fire extinguisher! Yo, where'd the fire just erupt from, bro? Yeah, yeah, we got fire. Or we got the fire out right away, but we seriously have no idea where it came from. Just whoosh out of nowhere. Glad that it didn't get any worse. You got me, son. What do you think started that fire? I have to say, the, the number of incidents around this cat is getting ridiculous. I don't think this is a coincidence at all anymore. Hang on, do you smell something? Gasoline. Gas? That would mean there's a chance that fire earlier was actually arson. Agreed. You got me, son. What do you say we search the scene really quick before the police get here? Uh. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I see, I see something here. Mm -hmm. What's this? Something was dripping it's here. Sudanese. I'd wager it's gasoline based on the color uh. and smell. Yeah, it goes all the way to the alley. Let's see if we can track it. So, is it this right here? I see this on the floor. How does it go from back here, though? Plastic bottle. Inside, more gasoline smell. This means... Yep, the fire at the pawn shop was actually arson. But who's the culprit and why? No idea, but let's film the police and the guy at the shop and what we found first. Sounds like a plan. You got me, son? How should we proceed with the investigation from here? Well, now that we know the fire at the pawn shop was intentionally set, what I'd love to do is pin down our little fire bug. 
pin them down? How exactly? Uh. Well, I don't know anything about them, but they're obviously after the statue. Maybe we can just lure them out somehow. Mm. Sought enough idea. Where should we start? Hmm, I suppose just manning around town ought to do it. Considering how quickly the pawn shop was a hit, can't imagine taking long. Mm -hmm. I see. Some genuine hardboard legwork, eh? A lot riskier than my usual investigations. <laughs> this is just how Yagami rules. Uh. Yeah, it's definitely going to be more dangerous than I'd like. That's why you ought to head back to. I think not. Please allow me to continue on the case. Uh. Just let her. I need to solve this myself, Yagami san, please. Look at them. Just let her come for the ride. But you really have to be careful and keep your distance when we're in public, right? I. I'm basically a walking tragedy magnet carrying around the thing. <laughs> yes, I promise. I'll be safe. So where should we head first? Preferably somewhere that makes it easy to watch our backs while we kill time. How about we play tar uh, darts? Wait, why? You wanna play darts? Why? Only one person had to take their eye off the surroundings at a time, and if someone does come after us, we can always counter with some darts to the face. Uh. Okay, I have to give you points on the overall plan, but darts to the face? Make no mistake, I'm actually quite good at the game. I ain't solid enough to be able to hit a human head. That's kind of scary. Yeah. So, I think it'd be best if I handled any incoming threats, and if you just don't say that kind of thing to someone, maybe? Right. Well, uh, after you? <laughs> well, we're not out here to play games, but... This case has also been a pretty big weight on Amasawa. Maybe it'd do her some good to blow up some steam. Okay, we're over at this door, so wherever the heck this is at. One of the arcade locations. I feel for any suspicious individuals along the way, especially if they're approaching you. Uh, be careful. At least this is a small place. We'll definitely see anyone coming from uh, for us here. <coughs> Just a genuine dart match. Nothing really happened. What's that? All right. Uh, not bad. You got me. So Don't make that face. <laughs> Should've gone easy on you. Oh wait. This makes me feel really bad for you, Gami. Alright, I'm sorry, actually, but. Oh, don't rub it in. <laughs> so, did you see anyone suspicious yet? Uh, I, uh, kinda got into the game and forgot to look around. <laughs> oh, come on, you said you weren't looking. I guess I sort of got into the zone there, too, though. I was looking around, but nothing happened, so I just played out the game. Looks like Darts didn't make the best cover activity. Should we shift gears? What would work better for us? Good idea. We could watch for our potential assailants. How about the batting center? Oh, fuck me, dude. Why there? Still be able to see anyone approaching us. In fact, this could be even better than dirts. But still, bro, I don't feel like doing batting cages. I'm so tired of doing batting cages in these Yakuza games. If one person does all the batting, the other can observe our surroundings without losing concentration on the game. That's true. Well, I guess we gotta do it. And even better, a bat makes for a much more effective defensive weapon than Durance. I see, well, I'll handle the defensive part for us. Let's get over there before something bad can happen to us here. Yeah? そういえばお前、受験勉強は大丈夫か。その <laughs> Intriguing. Oh, 
This is so annoying, bruh. He just keeps chasing us. He doesn't stop either. Matic cages. Here we are. Oh my god. We're finally here. Except that I gotta run all the way here on foot, so the time skip is a big necessity. Let's get right into it so we don't look suspicious. Right, acting natural. Alright, slugger, show me what you got. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna bat on so? Yeah, let's just say I'm more literally inclined than athletically inclined. Pretty sure even a bookworm can swing a bat. Still a bit too hard boiled of a detective work for my taste. Okay, let's keep an eye out for, uh, while he's swinging for you. Can't have anyone sneak up on us. Right, leave it to me. Okay. Alright, well that's enough of batting. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you having an off day? You don't have to remind me that I suck at this game mode. Not simply because I suck at it, but more or less because I don't like batting cages, I always have to relearn it in every Yakuza game. Not fun for me, honestly. Because it's always a one and done game mode. Uh, I guess so. Kinda weird. Usually I get a few more hits than that. I actually got a few more hits than what you're saying. You got me? I didn't hit the target 10, but I hit 6 out of 10. Which isn't the greatest, but isn't the worst either. Could have been worse. The book where it has to make me feel better here. Sure, worked up a sweat in there. Have some water. Okay, you're being too Ooh. cute. Can you not? Nah. So, any luck on your end? Spot anyone? Mm. Yeah, about that. I've seen a few somewhat suspicious people, but no one who seems to be paying us any attention. I see. Why don't we take a short break for now? Hmm. No. Hey, I'm a soa. Can I ask you something? What is it? Is your grandfather the reason you started the Mystery Research Club? Hi. Yes, in fact, he's the reason I grew so obsessed with mysteries in general. He's been a very big influence in my life. So, do you see yourself becoming a mystery author in the future? Mm. I certainly hope so. No more than that. I believe it's something I must do. Really? Hi. Truth be told, my dream is to complete his unfinished masterpiece. Yeah. Interesting. Do you have an unfinished manuscript of his? I do. When he passed away, he was in the midst of completing the final entry of his most popular series. He got roughly halfway through the draft, but he didn't write anything about the most crucial part, the duel revealed the culprit in the method. He didn't leave any notes behind that even hints towards what they could be, so no one knows how he meant to finish the book. Sounds like you've got some real work on your hands. Indeed. Although, I recently realized something that could be a potential answer to the mystery. You really are good. <laughs> I'll have to send you a copy someday for that one. Let me know if you figure it out before you get to the end. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Huh? I'm a sour? Oh. Nah. Hey, what's going on? Got my son? Please keep eye contact and pretend we're just chatting. Uh, Why? Uh, There's a man across the street. He keeps looking at us. Mm -hmm. There he is. Now that I think of it, he was at the arcade too. Oh wow, I didn't even recognize his face. Cause you know, it teleported us into the location where we actually did the darts. He followed us here. Eh. Seems so. He wasn't acting suspicious there at first, but later, when I took off with the statue and hid from his sight, he was looking around in a panic, like he had lost sight of something. 
So you think he's been after us this whole time? Yes, I presume I so. You got me, son. How about we take a bit of a calculated risk? What is it you want to calculate? About to chase that ass. Hi. If I stay here and distract him, will you be willing to slip out and loop back around to him? That way you can catch him before he has a chance to escape. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's a solid plan. I'll get over to him real quick. Gotta find the back door first. Alright. It's something that I wanted to talk to him real quick, because there is something I want to talk to, like the main chief for the points in this system for Benny Cage, but I guess that'll be for another time. Alright, it seems like he's still there. Yeah, he's right there. He'll definitely see me coming from here. How can I sneak up on him without getting caught? Literally the first thing I thought about the disguise, even though this is like the most possible I'm about to get caught disguise, because it doesn't look that much different from his old outfit. But this should work. What? Hey. Mm hmm. Mm, where are you? Oh. Wait. You're with that girl. Hey, you're the firebug at the pawn shop, right? Oh. Yeah. Got me, son! Masawa, keep away. Ha! The cat! The lucky cat! Oh, do you want this? I, um... Mm -hmm. You want it because it's evidence, right? Because of what's still on it? Ah, you saw it! You saw it? Mm -hmm. Saw what, pray tell? And there's something on this cat that could put you away for good, perhaps? Uh, what? Excellent bluff, I'm so on it. You let him right where you wanted him. Huh? What? Now, we have the final confirmation, so... What is it on this cat that could get you in so much trouble? Hmm? <laughs> you tried to burn down a pawn shop over this thing. What's on the cat that you need gone so badly. Who? Who who knows? Answer us! What do you know about Kita Amasawa's death? Hey, I said stay back. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Okay, he's trying to take it from her. Hit it over. What? How? Dare you? Oh! Be his ass! Wait, I shouldn't be saying that. I hope that thing didn't break, and that'll cause more bad luck. But I'm a sorry, you did some good. It'd be nice if you kicked him in the nuts, though. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit rambunctious when I was little. Still have what it takes to raise a bit of hell when needed. Intriguing. You, you fuckers! I'm gonna just kill you both and take the thing! Okay, I'm a sorry. it's my job from here on. Stay back, seriously. <laughs> I'll take it. New EX action, not too new, but good enough. Duh. What? Hey. Uh. Great. He's out cold. Um, yeah, that's my fault. Let's tie him up just in case. That ought to do it. Aw, it got all gross. Kami-san, considering how this man reacted to the cat, I believe there's at least one secret to it that we don't know. Uh. Yeah, one that neither your family or the police knew about at the time either. And if that's the case, it's not going to be easy to discover. But I, can, uh, I can't say that there's absolutely nothing to it. After all, it was one of my grandfather's most cherished rare possessions. You got me, son. Why don't we give it another thorough look over? Yeah, good idea. Nanda. Hmm. We can actually get a good look at this disturbing thing. I feel so bad calling it a disturbing thing, but honestly, these are supposed to be things that are used to ward off evil, but I usually see them in Chinese restaurants. Ooh. Hmm. There's a slight gap 
around the neckline. A gap? I thought it was just a big molded piece. Look, right there. It's more apparent now that the mud on it, it must have been when it got dropped mm. earlier. How odd. Why could it be there? Where am I looking at here? Right here. Mm -hmm. This eyeball jiggles a little like actually I can push it in a bit too. What the fuck? That's creepy. Um, um, it actually reacted? I heard a weird creepy ominous sound? Interesting that the eyes are actually separate parts. But why make something so elaborate? Well, I'm not sure. Jiggly eye and a gap on the neck. I wonder if they have any function. You know, if the eyes and the neck are... Could it be an eye for the truth that will eventually find a way? Hold on to that keen eye and take a good look around you. What? Sorry, I just remember my grandfather saying this once. While looking... or while holding the cat, he said it with pride, but it always stuck out as somewhat odd to me. Maybe you're giving me a hint all the way back then. A hint on how the cat works? Sometimes he'd give me clues to see if I could pick it up on a mystery as a sort of a game. I see, but what do you think he meant by it? Perhaps we're supposed to hold on to the eye and make it make the head go around? Oh yeah, cause these things can spin their head completely around, right? Look around. Yeah, we should hold the l the loose eye in place and spin the head. I kind of figured you're gonna say that. Oh boy, hold on to the canine, and make the head take a good look around. Okay. Oh, we're about to do this. Right. Oh, it turned. The arm! You got me son, look! Oh, it moves. Wait, it opened up. You could deposit money into this bit. So this thing is like the piggy bank version of these. Interesting. It meowed. So, it's a trick statue? I bet this is what your grandfather was hinting at. Yeah, of course, but no one in my family had any idea it could do that. It appears, yes, it has a secret compartment. It looks empty though. No, let's check it again. It has to be something there. Fingerprint, a dark stain. All dried up. Is it? Yeah, no mistaking it this time. There, that's blood. Hey, yo. Oh, I'm so screwed. Hey, you're willing to talk now, my guy? Masaka. Oh, let me take a good guess. That fingerprint's yours. Uh, and this blood. Belonged to Kita Amasawa, doesn't it? Oh, that, that sound of you taking a hard shit means that it was right. Answer me! What do you know about this? Tenon Amasawa, my grandfather, did you have something to do with his death? Your grand... Oh, I see. You're that man's granddaughter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think his granddaughter would be the one who caught me seven whole years later. Please, answer me. Hmm. Guess there's no getting away with this now. And I'm just so tired. Fine, I'll tell you. Alright, let's say the truth about what happened to Kitan Amasawa. Finally, Amasawa and the rest of her family can get some closure. Incident seven years ago, let's start with that. It happened seven years ago, like you know. I was up past my eyeballs in debt, I needed a lot of money, and I needed it by sunrise. That's when I spot the biggest mansion in the whole neighborhood. I heard some cookie famous author lived there. So, you snuck into the house that night? Yep. 
that place was huge and all the lights were off. Figured it, I wasn't getting cut. But Rompo was in the yard, our dog. I'm sure he would have worked as you. He was too busy chowing down that right ball I tossed him. <sighs> oh, Rompo. Sometimes you're too sweet. Nah. What did you do next? Went well, looking for his study as fast as I could. I assumed all the real goods would be either stashed away or on display in there. It was late enough that I figured out everyone would be asleep. But when I found the study and peeked inside, I saw the old man just barely lit up with the candle. I filled around with the cat's head, opened the thing up, and took something out. <laughs> what was it? I couldn't believe it. Inside of that cat, the old man had a bar of gold. <laughs> Reading it with this voice makes it too funny. <laughs> a bar of gold? The way he would grin at it, I knew it was real. I had to be worth millions. I jumped down without even thinking. We tossed it for a bit, so I grabbed the cat and I whacked him in the head with it. You motherfucker. How could you? Then you took the gold and ran off? Yeah. Thought it, I was going to be made for life. Damn it. In the end, goddamn Lone Star just swiped it from me and pretended it never happened. How'd you get out? Stay was locked when the police arrived. Oh, that. Well, let's hear it. I panicked after accidentally offing the guy. This went from a simple robbery to a potential homicide fast. I made myself focus. I came up with an idea. I used the cat's arm gimmick to make the whole thing look like an accident. What do you mean? You'll see. Should happen any time now. Oh. Oh, that's fucked. So it closes over time? That's creepy, man. Real smart, that old man. It was built so it closes back automatically. The arm sprang back with surprising force. Yup, and that's what I used. Oh. I see. You rigged it up to the window, didn't you? Yep. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Mind explaining how I'm selling? What I imagine happened was he stacked some books by the window and put the statue on top and its arm lowered, mind you. As soon as he arranged the books rather unstably so it would collapse. By placing the cat in the right spot, the pot would shoot upwards and engage into a window lug, effectively sealing the room. He must have slipped out the window quickly before arranging the scene, then wait in. Hoping to see the gimmick play out as he had planned before he could be cut. When the time arrived, the paw shot up, whacking a window, lock closed. With enough force to knock over both the cat and a stack of books. This was the window in front of the spot where my grandfather did. Seemed that ended up looking like my grandfather had fallen and hit his head on the statue. Ah. That gold bar must have been my grandfather's secret saving. Explains why he never told any of us how the cat works. And it explains why he tried to scare me away from the room if I ever heard it meow. Yeah, blame your family for never finding out. That I would have checked for a secret treasure before getting rid of what they had thought was a regular creepy statue. The curse of the lucky cat statue, all due to a secret grandfather took to the grave. Ah, you see we got that. I feel bad for you, I'm a seller, I really do. Finally, I know the truth. Hey, just like a mystery writer would hope. I would have been really scared if you were this smart as a kid. She's still a kid. Well, she's more adolescent now, but... Anyways, reason for wanting a cat now. Let's hear it. So, you wanted to get the statue back as soon as you could, right? Yeah, that's right. I didn't know for sure there was a fingerprint in it, though. Mm -hmm. So, that's unexplained? 
Really, you mean you did this just to be cautious? Yep. I was wearing gloves that night, so I wasn't thinking about fingerprints, but once I got away from the scene, I saw I had a tear in my glove. My finger had been covered in blood. What the fuck? Somebody. So, you worried that you left some kind of trace at the scene. Later, I read that the police ruled his death an accident, so I knew they didn't have find any prints. But that secret compartment, that could have been a game changer. There was a solid chance I left a trace of being in there. All it take was for one person to figure out the stash of secret, and I'd be screwed. That's why I tried so hard to get the cat, but it fell off the map pretty quickly. Seven whole years, that damn cat been on one thing on my mind. And all of a sudden, about a month ago, I see the fucking thing on TV, the cat I see in my nightmares all the time. Alright. We did hear about it getting a praise on TV at some point. Let me tell you, I'll shit myself watching Fancy Pants appraiser looking over with his little magnifying glass thing. He popped that compartment open on TV. Whew. If he had opened it, bro, it had been game over for you. So, you saw the current owner of the statue on the appraisal show, and that's when you tried to get it back from him. Right. The truth of the tragedy. Hold on, does that mean you're the one causing all the trouble for Shimada family? Heh, <laughs> probably. Yeah. First I tried to sneak into their place, try to get it back. The guy just woke up on me. When I told him to give me back the cat, he thought I was a ghost and straight up passed out. Well, he did say that he started suffering a mysterious illness after that night. High fever to be specific. A uh, fever? Oh, that's no mystery. I had a cold that night. Must have given it to him. Wow, you're fucked up. Well, I suppose that explains that part. But you're not just responsible for getting the guy sick. You tried to burn their house down, didn't you? Well, uh, let me guess it's an accident, you fucking retard. Oh, so the intimidation feel. You thought you could just resort to torching the evidence, civilians be damned? Are you the one who tried to run over some other son, too? The one who caused the accident outside the cafe the other day? <laughs> you are a really good kid. I figured if the owner died, the friend would just yeah, it's creeped out as the last one get rid of the thing, you know? Uh, what a scumbag. Then, what about Shimada Kun's graves dropping? Huh. <laughs> what about what? Guess he doesn't have anything to do with that one. I don't even know why we even mentioned that one. The guy just unfortunately just isn't smart enough. It is what it is. You gotta study a little bit more. Fear makes mountains of molehills. Mole That's actually a true statement, though. Fear makes mountains of uh, mountains of molehills. Yeah, pretty uh, unfortunate, but I think it's a true statement. Because they were so, so uh, convinced misfortune would befall them, even the most harmless things were perceived as part of the curse. Oh, now you're screwed, my guy. Goodbye. Okay, I believe the statue had a secret compartment the whole time, let alone a gold bar at one point. At least I can finally chalk a non-supernatural cause up to the meowing I heard that night. Uh. Yeah, good point. If you think about it, the curse attached to the statue is just another layer of security for my grandfather. Not only does it have a secret compartment with a gimmick to opening it, but it even has an ominous story around, uh, surrounding it designed to drive people away. Perhaps this amused my grandfather enough to make this one of his cherished possessions. I could see Amasawa. that. Anyway, Amasawa. I'm glad you were able to get to the bottom of what really happened with your grandfather. I agree, truly. Can't tell you the weight that has been lifted off my shoulders. It's all thanks to you, Yagami-san. Oh, I don't know. You were really sharp on this case too, Amasawa. What? Really? Don't you dare say that. Nah. Yeah, you're the one who figured out the trick to opening the cat. Not only that, you saw the locked room murder right after learning who did it. That's true, but still. You know what, Amasawa? 
I sort of feel like your grandfather was hoping you'd solve the mystery all, all along. Think about it. Why else would he ask you a riddle about the statue while holding it if he wanted to keep it a secret to everyone? Yeah, that's true. Even with what was in it? If I had solved the mystery, if I'd find out what's in certain. Well, maybe it was meant to be a gift for the future you, like a prize awarded for a full-grown Detective Kyoko Amasawa. Mm -hmm. I see. So, when I don't fall victim to the lies that push past the fear, I can find a glimpse of the truth. That definitely sounds like my grandfather. The gold might be gone, but you still grew to become a fine detective and solve the genuine mystery just like your grandfather predicted. I'm sure he's proud of you wherever he is. Huh, I sure hope so. Oh, Grandpa? Are you? What a sight. Perfect!